and we back. Today, things are very simple. Guess how many points he averages get him on your team. Simple concept. Definitely, definitely not a simple execution because I just did a test run and I was struggling. But obviously there has to be some rules, right? I'm not going to guess that this player's average of 14.2 exactly. If I had to get it exactly, I'm not getting no players. We're going to use the random NBA player generator to generate five different players per round. I get to pick two players that I would potentially want. In this case, it's going to be Kawhi Leonard and Tyrese Maxey. I'm going to guess their point per game, and if I get it right between 0.5, so half of a point, I keep the player. If I don't get it right within that, then I don't get them. And if I get it right exactly, if I get it right exactly, Kawhi is averaging 22.4, and that's completely right then I get to take a player in his franchise's history of my choosing. Because let's be real, getting it exactly is wild because these things are changing day to day. So test run, test run, I'm saying test run, okay? Kawhi Leonard is at 23.7. Did we go to Kawhi Leonard? It is 22.7. So I wouldn't get that right. Tyrese Maxey is at 19.5. 19.5 and in this case him being 19.7 we would have got Tyrese Maxey on the team if we get them both wrong then we have to get somebody that is 70 overall or lower until we fill out our roster leave a like subscribe let's generate our next five players Malik Beasley Kabun Jelle Skylar Mays what only two only one player on this list is in the NBA right now only one player on this list is currently in the league Oh my, okay, so Malik Beasley's points per game average is 14.2. And I guess if I had to pick a second player, I'm going to pick Rondo, whose points per game average is zero. How about that? We, we, we get that right, right? His points per game average is zero. Malik Beasley, I said 14.2, didn't I? So in that case, we 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 add nobody to the, t to the team, or I guess the 70. This is going to be harder than I anticipated. I'm already seeing that comment. It's Kenny. How can you not know this player's averages? If you can do this successfully, good for you. You, you just better. That's fine. Next, we got Nikhil Alexander-Walker. We got Cole Anthony, Drew Eubanks, Jerome Robinson, and Rudy Gobert. This is the second run in the row where the people that we got ain't that great. Obviously, I'm going to go with Rudy Gobert first. And I think this season, Rudy Gobert is averaging... 12.7. Rudy Gobert is at 13.4. 12.7. I'm off. I'm off. But I'm not off by a lot. But off is off. A miss is a miss regardless if it's close or not. We're talking about the game of basketball. And the next person I want to go for is probably Cole Anthony. Dang. Cole Anthony low-key is a hard one to think about. So Rudy Gobert was 13 point something. Cole Anthony... It's probably 12.6. I might be overshooting it. Cole Anthony, 12.6. 12.1! Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. We on, we on top. Cole Anthony is on the team. It's not crazy great, but it's better than getting a 60 or 70 overall. Okay, please get us somebody great. Ah, oh, that's what we love to see. Giannis, Josh Hart, Aaron Neesmith, Grant Williams, and Derek Rose. Okay, obviously we're shooting for Giannis. Bro. Oh. Is, so Giannis is what, third in the league in scoring? Isn't it Luka, Joel, Giannis? Or something along the lines. I'm going to say Giannis is average. But he, the last game of Giannis, he only, he only scored like four points because he got injured. Now, that could bring his averages down. I'm saying Giannis is averaging. Oh, boy. I, I want to. Uh, should I? Should I start? I'm going to go with Grant Williams. I'm thinking about you later, Giannis. I got it. Let me start off with Grant Williams and say he's averaging 8.8 8. 8 points per game. Grant Williams 8.6 we own we own it we own it nobody knows the game like I do when it comes to random role players now I don't know what Giannis is averaging but I know the random role player Grant Williams that's the homie the general aka Batman he's he's on the he's on the team but he's only on the team if I get Giannis wrong so that's my safety blanket obviously the gap between Giannis and and Grant Williams is magnificently large I'm going to say Giannis is averaging 31.5. Or do I want to go 32.5? 31.5, 32.5. 31.5. I'm just going with the gut. 31.5. Giannis. I said a kumpo. 31.3. I said 31.5, didn't I? I didn't say 32. I said 31.5. He is 28 years old. Seven-time All-Star, NBA champion, six-time All-NBA, two-time MVP, All-Defensive, Most Improved Player, DPOY, 
Seven, all NBA 75. I mean, come on, bro. He's 28, y'all. He's 20. That is so crazy to think about. So Grant Williams, um, we might trade for you later because it still is a rebuild, by the way. I still want to win a championship. But instead, we add in Giannis Antetokounmpo to my list of players. Generate the next five. Jared Cover, Gallinari, whose points per game average is zero. Wancho Hern Gomez, Patrick Williams, Aaron E. Smith again. We, there's 500 players in the NBA. How do we get an Aaron E. Smith twice? Patrick Williams on a season is averaging 10.2. Patrick Williams is averaging 10.3. Look at that. And I think the only reason I guessed that is because he's been averaging nearly the same thing for the entirety of his career. I went 2.2, it was 10.3. Patrick Williams on the team. I don't even want nobody else. I'm just going to get a new five. Yeah, Aaron Neesmith, Wancho Hern Gomez, Galinari's injured this season, and Jared Culver only played a couple games with a, with a team. So generate the next five. Kim Birch, Brent Forbes. Why did I think this was going to be solid? Should I just take the 70 overall? Who's the best player here? It's between Kim Birch and Will Dean Wade is pretty good. But in the game of 2K, in the game of 2K, uh, Dean Wade is averaging 6.7 points per game. Wade, I said 6.7. I'm way off. I mean, it's by one, but you way off in the, the context of this video. That's way off. The next player, Thaddeus Young, I'm say is averaging 5.4. Thaddeus Young. 5.4, so I, I got it. Yay! Yay! Thaddeus Young! Woohoo! That's great. They should let me adjust the sliders. Give me the, give me a superstar, baby. Give me a superstar. Patrick Beverly, Chicago's very own. Welcome to the Bulls. Chris Chioza, who hasn't played a minute this season. Zach Collins, Keir Lewis Jr., and Doug McDermott. What is Patrick Beverly averaging? I'm gonna say 6.3 for Pat. 6.3? That feel kind of low, though. 6.3. Go with the gut. 6.3. Yeah, I'm on one. I'm on one. Stop playing with us. 6.4 is the... Man, I was very close to getting Michael Jordan on the team. Because, remember, if I get it right exactly, I get to pick any player in the history of their team. I was this close to getting Magic, uh, Michael Jordan on the team. Because he's, he's a bull. And they even got a picture of him in the Bulls jersey already. Shout out to, to Mr. 94 Feet, Chicago's very own. Welcome to the team. So far, we got two current Bulls and Patrick Beverly and Patrick Williams. Patrick and Patrick, look at that. We got a former bull in Thaddeus Young and a future bull in Giannis Antetokounmpo. Speaking into existence. Next, Goran Dragic, another current bull. What is happening? This is this is bad. Um, Blake Griffin is averaging 4.7, 4.9. Welcome to the team, Blake. This is crazy. This is supposed to be for us to get good players. I'm getting them right. As you can see, I only got one player that I didn't, or one round, I did not get anything right. I'm doing a good job, but the random random player generator is giving me scrubbish players. And I got to say ish because I respect everybody in the NBA. Because if we just playing one-on-one, I'm losing uh, 11 to 0. It's not even going to be close. Here are some good players. So Drew Holiday, all-star. The Norman Powell, one of the six man of the year candidates. I should know Drew Holiday because I just watched them play yesterday. And I'm pretty sure they popped it up on screen. I'm going to say Drew Holiday's averages are 18.1, 18.1. Oh man, Drew Holiday, 18.1, 19.5. That's so disrespectful, Drew. I gotta tip my cap, I just sold, I sold. Um, 18.1 was the, I should've just went a smooth even 20. He's an all-star, can't he? He's an all-star. Norman Powell, on the other hand, I'm thinking 15 to 16 range. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go, actually, 16, 17 range. Let's say 16.4, 16.4. 16.4 is 17. I said 16 to 17 range eventually. I should've just went to the, to the top end. So that is another 70 overall. The one time we get another all-star possibility, we choke it away. Okay, so we got DeAndre Aiden and John Wall, I guess. Those are the two best players. Shout out to Dwight Howard in Taiwan. I guess he's doing good things. I don't know. Shaq is still talking trash. DeAndre Aiden's averages on the season are 17.6, 17.2. Go with the gut. 17.2 is what I feel in my soul. So I'm going 17.2 for DeAndre Aiden. Dude, 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 dude. Oh my God, this is so stressful. John Wall's averages are... 8.4. Okay. All right. I'm, I'm I'm choking away this challenge. The only reason I went low is because they got rid of him. And I thought that maybe there was some games where he played like six minutes and didn't score. This is what I'm doing from now on. Because because I'm, I don't like our odds. So I'm stopping at three and two and one. And we got, okay, Julius Randle. We got also Julius Randle. And we also got Ben Simmons, Gary Trent Jr. Which one would we rather have in a game in 2K? I'd probably rather, in, in real life, I'd probably want Gary Trent Jr. too. Actually, in the game and in real life. Julius Randle. All-star, he almost said 50 the other night. 
I'm going to say Julius Randle is averaging 25 points. 26.7, 26.7. Randall don't sell, 26.7, 25. Well, I would have said 25.7, I still would have been wrong. It's 25.1. I was doing so good, one, two, three, four. I got six in a row right, and now I'm on the verge of getting three in a row wrong. I would rather have Gary Trent Jr., but I think I know exactly what Ben Simmons is averaging on the year. Because because the Bulls, as I'm recording this video, the Bulls just played against the Brooklyn Nets and they were up by 50. They were talking about Ben Simmons. And I cannot remember if they said he's averaging 6.8 or 6.9. Now, would we rather go with Ben Simmons and know that I'm getting it right? Or would I rather take a shot in the dark on Gary Trent Jr.? I... Would I rather take a shot in the dark with Gary Trent Jr.? I'm going to say Ben Simmons is averaging 6.9. Because if I get it exactly, then that means I can get Kevin Durant. Or Julius Irvin, I guess. But I would rather want Kevin Durant personally. I'm going to go 6.9 for Ben Simmons. That's my guess. That's my final guess. 6.9. Please don't sell. Please don't sell. Ben Simmons is averaging 6.9. You'll see it. You'll see it. Okay. So, instead of getting Ben, get, get out of here, bucko. We're bringing Kevin Durant to the team, man. Shout out to the random number generator, the random NBA player generator. We're stopping now. Uh, Vucevic and, get, and uh, Frey Van Vliet, not too bad. Vucevic is averaging 18.7. Book it, give me that one. That's easy. JK, I actually think that's way off. 18.7, 17.8. Oh, that's my dyslexia. That's my dyslexia showing right there. 18.7. And the 17.8 is what I mentally saw. And I said 18.7. I cannot believe it. Oh, well. We got it wrong. Who's the other guy? Fred Van Vliet. Fred Van Vliet is averaging 19.8. Yep, Fred Van Vliet. Let's get it, Freddy. Welcome to the team. 19.8. Oh, I almost had Vince Carter in this joint. I almost had Vince Carter in this joint. But instead, I would take Fred Van Vliet. Three more attempts. Let's see what we stop in and now. Ryan R to the at home. Oh, 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 man. Barely plays, only played because Damian Lillard was stuck on a plane for 12 hours. Rodney Hood out of the league, out of the league, out of the league, plays, but got traded to Washington, and nobody watches the, the Washington Wizards outside of people that support the Washington Wizards. So I'm going to say he's Kendrick Nunn is averaging 7.8. Uh, I don't even know what Kendrick Nunn's overall is. I said 7.8, and I'm still wrong. Give me the 70. I'm not, I don't even care about the other dudes. Give me a 70. Two more of these. Two more of these. Let's, let's get it done right. Let's get it done right. There's there's Cole Anthony again, but instead we're going to either go Tyrese Halliburton or Derrick Jones Jr. I think Tyrese is averaging 19.6. Uh, 19.6. Tyrese Halliburton, 19.6 is, is in the wheelhouse, ladies and gentlemen. Halle, welcome to the team. The last one. Let's make it a good one. Give me a star. Give me a star. You see, my eyes are closed. So you can't say, Kenny, you stopping me. And I got it's not all stars. Terry Rozier is averaging. Terry Rozier. Terry Rozier. Terry Rozier. It's, it's like a, he's either 18 point per game guy or like a 22 point per game guy. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go 21.8. Terry Rozier, 21.8. And that's right. I'm, I'm on one. I'm on one. 21.8 will take it. Terry Rozier. So we got a lot of guards. We got Halliburton, Fred Van Vliet, Terry Rozier, but we also got Kevin Durant, Giannis, and the best player on the team, Patrick Williams. We, we got a chance to be really good. I, I might only have to do two trades and we done. Hey, low key, if it wasn't for the center position being Blake Griffin, this team could win it all. Genuinely. Now, the front court or the back court is small with Terry Rozier being 6'1 and Fred Van Vliet being 6 foot, but if you have Kevin Durant on your team and Giannis on the team, I feel like you can run with the, the best of them. We got Patrick Williams as a trade piece. I didn't even realize that Thaddeus is young was still a 77 in the game. And my fault, Patty. Patty. My fault, Thaddy. Um, because I was not talking trash. I would never do that because I love Thaddeus Johnson. But, like, I didn't think his overall was still as high. But it is. So he is on the team. At least for now. Um, we need to trade for a center. What type of center do I feel like will be perfect alongside Giannis and Kevin Durant? Let's be real. The, re the rebuild portion of this video it's about to go. Anthony Davis, welcome to the. T no, I'm, I will try to get AD though. Um, I can't believe there's such a gap between the top three guys and then Sabonis at four, but it's like a five overall difference between them. So I'm going to try to go get, get Anthony Davis from the Lakers. Now it is the real life roster, it's not fantasy roster, but there is no Untouchables. And maybe the Lakers will be willing to give us him if we give them. Uh, we, we give them Fred Van Vliet. We also give them Patrick Williams. 
Got to make up one million more. Um, hmm. We'll give them Cole Anthony. Yep, take some, take out all these guards and take some draft capital because we don't need it. You know what I'm saying? We don't need the draft capital. Y'all do. We Y'all gave up a lot to get Anthony Davis. You just want to replenish that and get some young players like Patrick Williams who might be the next GOAT. Okay, that's the damn mission. I don't want to give them Tyrese Halliburton. Even though I might be, I probably should. Let's see, Tyrese Halliburton, Fred Van Vliet, and Patrick Williams in the trade finder. That's probably getting us somebody real nice. Uh, it did it. Spoiler, it didn't get us somebody real nice. What about those two dudes and then just the first? That should get us at least a bonus, right? Nope. Um, hmm. Let's 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 think about this. Let's think about this a little bit differently. Cause do I need do I need my center to be a star? No, I got Giannis and KD. I just need somebody that's gonna play great defense. You know, play play great defense. Um, play. I'm trying to think who fits well with Giannis that plays great defense. I know it's a name y'all spamming or thinking about, but the the unfortunate part about that is the man is making 33 million, 34 right, 34 million dollars. I'm not paying that man that. So instead, see, I wanted to. So I go trade. I'm trading for Vooch, man. And cause he's gonna be cheap. Yep. Yep. I said play great defense and I decide to go with Vucevic. Who cares? Go shoot the ball, stretch the floor for Giannis. He'll play the defense. Kevin Durant and Giannis play the defense. They want Freddie in the first or in the second. Uh Cole Anthony and, and okay, Patrick Williams, or they want Tyrese Halliburton, Thaddeus Young. We'll send we'll send Thaddeus Young back to Chicago. Cause it was a good, it was a fun-ish time when he was there. Okay, cool. Um, now let's go figure out our shooting guard because I do want Reese to be my one and we still got a lot of other ones on the team and that's where Fred Van Vliet is getting moved probably with Pat that's enough to get us who's a guy making around 25 million dollars at the two position DeJounte Murray yep yep DeJounte Murray would yep that would that would get the that would get the job done for sure or we will go out there and get Mikael Bridges and Nicholas Claxton and now Vucevic you're expendable because I got Nicholas Claxton and I don't need both of y'all as the centers on my team. I just need one really good center. And then a, a solid backup. I don't need both of y'all there. Bro, I can get DeMar DeRozan. Bro, the trade find is actually elite right now. I'm going to get DeJounte. And we're done. I mean, we're not done, but we are done. You know what I'm saying? We got the pieces we need. DeJounte is going to come off our bench. We Cole Anthony. We also got Sadiq Bay in that trade. I didn't even realize. Let's just go trade for a backup center that's solid. And let's go win 62 games and cruise to the NBA Finals. This video was not about the rebuild portion. It was about the knowledge of knowing the points per game of all of these people. Where's the center? Ooh, I, I, did, I, did, I did see um, Jordan Poole would have been interesting. I should have probably looked at every other center that was available, but I just went with the center that was there in Daniel Gafford. And now we should be running a nine-man. Should we make it a 10-man by getting one more wing? We should get one more wing play. Let's go get one more wing play. He ain't got to be real good. Just 76 and above. That's all I'm looking for. 76 and above, and we ready. Kevin Durant. And Giannis are on the team. If you remember that. Kevin Durant and Giannis are on the team. And if we got that, we got endless possibilities. If we got that, ain't nobody rocking with us. Nobody's even close. What is Isaiah Joe's height against 6'3"? He's too small. I want a legitimate wing, and I guess we're going with Jalen McDaniels, who is 6'9", small four, power four. Get B-Ball Paul on the team, too. We got some defense. Uh, put it back to a 10-man rotation, and then we're done. Halliburton, Bridges, Kevin. Giannis and then Nicholas Claxton off the bench DeJounte Murray back in the Spurs uniform things are gonna go different He gonna have fun and he, he won't go into a podcast and talk trash We also got Cole Anthony selling the team. We'll take that. I think him and DeJounte as a backcourt back Backwards backcourt a backup backcourt is gonna be solid with Sadiq Bay, Daniel Gaffer and McDaniels That's a good team. That's a good team first games gets the Charlotte Hornets. Yeah, that should be easy They ain't got nobody that can hang but Mark Williams did have a good game. 14 made free throws. Who was out here fouling? Everybody. Everybody. Yeah, we should win 60-plus games, bro. We should win 60-plus games. Undo Think about who on a... Giannis and Kate. We might go 82 and... No, 81... 80 and 2. Okay, not those. But we good. Shout out to Luca. He's doing great stuff. Here we go. 66 wins for Greg. We doing it for him, man. In real life, they struggle to win any games. And now we brought them back because Giannis is an All-NBA first-team player. He had a 51-point game earlier in the season. And he averaged on the year 17, 11, and 8. You love that. He even shot 33% from three, which will be a career high. Not his rookie season. But let's see how many he attempted in his rookie season. 118. And he attempted 400. So he, he, he's so much better. He's so much better. Um, Kevin Durant also all NBA because he's Kevin Durant 26 6 and 4 do we got some all defensive team players the answer is no oh yes we do Giannis of course um, I was hoping to see Nicholas Claxton there but whatever 
Here we go. First round, going against the Denver Nuggets. They got the same team. Don't like they made no trades, at least to the starting lineup. That's a really good team in real life in a game in 2K. It is, whoa, that was way closer than it needed to be. Uh, what I was saying is, uh, you very rarely see the Denver Nuggets win a championship in 2K because they don't get a lot of love. They almost just beat us in a seven. So that's, again, interesting. Um, this team has Reggie Bullock guarding Giannis and Tim Hardaway Jr. guarding KD. Kind of like our, <laughs> kind of like our odds, y'all. I, I gotta be honest. I kind of like the odds of Giannis going out there and averaging 40 if Reggie Bullock is the dude trying to guard him. Four game series? Absolutely. Going against the Lakers. Now, I got a little vendetta against y'all right now because I attempted to trade for Anthony Davis and you told me no. So instead, we got Claxton. Which is a downgrade, but it's still a good player. Uh, we were winning at the point guard, shooting guard, not the small four, power forward, and not the You know, Kevin Durant versus uh, LeBron in the playoff series is always fun. Kevin Durant had 40 and LeBron had 25, and he fouled out. Game two is another game for us. Kevin Durant had 26, LeBron had 27 and 15, but ultimately we won. Game three is not a win for us. LeBron had 30 and Kevin Durant had seven. Dang, that's, that's his worst playoff game ever, huh? Seven points. He backed it up in the next one. And just like that, we're in the finals to go against Jason Tatum and the Boston Celtics, who have a healthy Gallinari at the four. We took Blake Griffin away from him, and then we traded away Blake Griffin. So it would have been cool to help Blakey Blake get that championship that he's been looking for. Um, he's not getting it. Um, but ho hopefully we do. That first game just scared me a little bit. But hopefully we get it. 2-1. Not Simcast. Don't need the Simcast. 3-1 us, and we win. Guess the player's point per game average. Win a championship. That, that was that was as simple as could be, man. We got I can't believe we got the one exactly that led us to get Kevin. That was it. That's what it was. The Ben Simmons one. And you know why I know that? Because I was watching basketball, watching the Bulls beat up on the Brooklyn Nets and listen to the commentary. If you enjoyed the video, leave it a like, subscribe, and I'll see y'all tomorrow. Peace.